All right. I want to show how to level out your deck if you're having problems with your deck cutting uneven or if you're having problems and you can't figure out what to do about it and how to level it out, how to fix that. Um, it's one of the biggest things that I see if I drive by somewhere and I see something that's cut uneven where your deck will be digging on, on one side or digging in on the other side and it's really easy to fix if you know how to fix it. But first you gotta, you gotta figure out what your problem is and how to diagnose it. And if you can figure that out, then you can figure out how to um, solve your problem. The first thing to check is tire pressure. Check your front tires, check your rear tires. Um, you're gonna have a you're gonna have on the side of the tire it's gonna tell you how much is the max pressure that you can put in that tire. Just keep looking around and see if you can find it on there somewhere. And uh, check. But it really it doesn't really matter um, exactly how many pounds of pressure, as long as you don't go over the max, you know, that you run in the, the rear tires. You don't want them, of course, you don't want them too too low on pressure because that's going to give you too much bounce and make your deck kind of go up and down. But you do want them to be nice and firm and be the same pressure on each side. For example, if you've got 20 pounds of pressure in the rear tires, you need to have 20 pounds in both of them. Um, you can't have 15 in one and 20 in the other. And same thing on the front tires. If you've got 10 in the front, you need to have 10 on both sides. Um, I usually run a little bit firmer on the firmer side. Um, that's just my choice. The first thing that I check when I start to check the deck, I put a mower on a flat, even surface. Like this is a, a flat, even piece of concrete here. And I put the deck down to where it's not touching the ground. This deck is it's actually up off the ground, it's not touching. And I pick a point of reference. And there's a steel bar that comes down through here. And I've got a tape measure. And I'll measure on one side, preferably all the way over on the corner. And then I'll measure on the other side. And then I'll see what the difference is. But my point of reference should be the same exact point on the deck on each side. If I'm a half an inch lower on one side versus the other, I know that I need to make an adjustment either up or down on one side or the other to make the deck even. And I also check the rear, the back side, to see if I'm off on the rear. Another thing that can make you think that you're off on your deck is your anti-scout wheels. These wheels need to be running about the same amount of wear um, on each one. In other words, when your deck hits the ground and you hit uneven spots, if you're low on the left side and you've got a brand new wheel over here on your right side, you're going to have spots or places on your left side that are going to be cut deeper than your right side. Un uneven surfaces, so these are what keep you from running the ground, scalping and all that good stuff on uneven surfaces. So you want to make sure that these have got about the same amount of wear on each one. And once you've checked that, once you've checked all these things and you determine um, that you're still uneven, you check tire pressure, then we get to the part of how we fix it. Now over here on the Gravely, it's, it's set up a little bit different, but the same in many ways. Um, the anti-scout wheels are a little bit different, but right here on the sides of each mower, you got a, you got a chain adjustment. See this chain right here? Front and back, you got a, you got a chain. And if you see the little slots, these are slide up and down for an adjustment. So you put a 
you'll have to, on this one for example, once you set each side, uh, if I was going to set this side up from scratch, I would put maybe a block of wood under each side and make sure that my measurements were exactly the same and I would set these chains so that they're an equal match on each side. Um, <clears throat> they come with a factory set and they usually run, most machines that I've seen run about a half inch or so higher on the back side that actually it's pitched down, the deck is pitched down in the front to, to make it cut better on most machines. Most machines I know are a little bit higher on the back than they are on the front. The front is pitched down a little bit. So that's the thing to keep in mind when you're, when you're adjusting or trying to level out your deck. Now, there are other issues that you can run into. If your anti-scout wheels are all about the same, if your tire pressure is good, and you notice that you're still leaning to one side or the other, and let's just say that you've made the adjustments on these chains, and you still feel like there's a problem. You can have many different problems. Um, and I want to show you one thing that some people run into. When you get blades on a machine and there you want to look up underneath the deck and you want to, you want the blades to run even you want them to be running side by side as even as possible and if, if they're that close together like what you see here on the camera if they're like neck and neck you should be able to put a block you should be able to put a block of wood or something nice and flat and even where the blades come together up underneath the deck a ruler would be perfect run it long ways under the blades and see if they're even now if they're uneven they're like this you know there's a problem on it either the, the deck is bent or the blade is bent so you got to figure out what you got to do to to um, to get them back evened up but hopefully on most commercial machines and that's what I'm referring to here is commercial machines when you're trying to adjust the deck and level it out usually Unless you run on up on something and hit it really, really hard, it's hard to bend the deck on one of these. Uh, it can be done, but basically if you, if you hit something really hard, that's how it can be done. Um, and then, then you can always shim the blades to level them out. And that's a whole nother video, and every machine is different. But hopefully that will give you a good idea of how to diagnose and, and check your decks to make sure that your deck is cutting flat and even. Thank you.